All right, hey guys, and welcome back to another Star Wars Squadrons video. Today, I am going to be going over the best A-Wing class that you guys can possibly build. I've been playing for a little while now, and I've actually figured out a really, really good A-Wing class for you guys. So that's what we're going to go over today. I've got a gameplay after this where I get 17 kills in a game of dogfights, which only goes to 30 kills. I joined the game late. I clutched a win. We won 30 to 29. Even though we were down by like six kills at one stage, we came back and we clutched a win. Huge, huge game by me and my team. We absolutely nailed it. But I'm going to go over all the components that I was using during this game so that you guys can test it out and try it yourself. Now, what you'll see when we jump in here is that I actually do have mean. all of the components pretty much unlocked because thanks to the EA Game Changers program, I've actually been playing this for a couple of days now. Uh, they really, really helped us out and, and made this possible. So I want to say a big thank you to them. But if we jump into the A-Wing, you'll see I've pretty much got everything unlocked as we go through here. So the first thing you want to do is when you go into your primary weapon, you're going to want it on, I don't know how to say this, the Gurhill Rapid Fire Cannon. I think I said it wrong, but someone can correct me if I am wrong. This thing absolutely shreds. So with a max DPS of 666, the rate of fire is 16.7 shots per second. Recharge is 12.5, which can be a little bit slower. Um, and obviously it shoots a short clip. So it's very short. Um, you can't shoot for as long, but it does a ton of damage. And it's got a 600 meter range, which is kind of low. But with an A-Wing, you're going to be in close. You're going to be maneuvering quickly. So you don't really need tons of range. So as long as you're in close to your enemies when you're using this, it works 100%. So the next thing we're going to go into our components in the left auxiliary, I run the quick lock missile, which has a 1.3 second lock on time. This is great. Um, if you've got like pesky other interceptors on the other team that you can't lock onto, you only need 1.3 seconds to actually get this off. So this can be really helpful as well does 375 damage which is quite a lot when you think about it and if you're combining it with the last part that we put on with the rapid fire cannons you can do an absolute ton of damage to any starfighter that's out there the next one we're going into the right auxiliary and this is the seeker mine and i have to give a shout out to mark from split screen gaming he actually told me about this component he was using it during the play test when we were playing the other day and he said it absolutely shreds so what this does is it pretty much just drops a big mine behind you and the mine locks on and chases an enemy starfighter that gets too close and explodes on impact so you can get some sneaky kills without actually having to like aim at someone you can just drop this behind you and and just get a kill so uh, you can actually use the repair kit as well. I found that really useful. So if you don't want to use two offensive components in these sections, you can really use that repair kit well and utilize it effectively. The A-Wings are pretty low health, so it can be really helpful to have that equipped. Next up with the countermeasures, I had the sensor jammer. This I find is awesome. When you get a missile lock on you, sure you can evade it, but then at points they're just going to lock straight back onto you right after you evade it the first time. So Having this as a countermeasure is really good because it does actually stop them from locking onto you for a short duration um, after you've actually activated it. So you can sort of use it, evade the missile, and then they can't lock onto you for a period of time, which allows you time to actually get away from them. If you want to charge up your engine so you can boost drift out of there, that's exactly what this gives you time to do. So I find it super helpful. The hull, I just went with the standard hull. Keep it all around. I didn't want to drop any... Um, any sort of like health in any areas. I didn't want to utilize uh, this one, so I would drop hull integrity when my max health would go down. You'd take extra auxiliary damage, I mean, or, you know, take less from auxiliary damage on this one and take more from lasers because as soon as you start getting hit by a laser, you're going to die. And this one's the reverse. So this one basically gives it a longer time to lock onto you, but you, but you pretty much again have less hull integrity. So. I think this is definitely the way to go for that. Shields, we use the overloaded shield. Give yourself 25% less primary damage, 50% less auxiliary damage. I think they're really good as well. And then the micro thrust engine, which gives me 30% more maneuverability. In an A-Wing, maneuverability is exactly what you want. So loading this up is really, really helpful. And I found it that it was the best way to go for me. So again, thank you to the EA Game Changers program for making this video possible. If you guys want to stick around and watch the gameplay, absolutely feel free. If not, take the tips from this build and chuck them on your own Starfighter and see how they go. But I'm going to leave you guys with the gameplay now. Thank you so much for tuning in. And may the force be with you, always. Oh, it's already started again. Okay, sick.
Flying your way. Here we go. Let's go have a look. See what my team's been doing this whole time. Just hit me. Oh. No, <laughs> we just killed each other. Shit. Bruh, I've been in 30 seconds already taken over. Come on, it should be like on max 10 seconds. Get one clip. <laughs> I was doing good for a second there. Snap. That wasn't good. Nice. Oh, I didn't... I didn't press my uh, counter measures. <laughs> Back in, let's go. Come on, I'm carrying right now. My team needs me. I'm 
shot. Dude's annoying. He's got to be low. He's killed himself. Okay. Nice little run there. It's a tight one. Can we clutch it? I need to redeploy. Come on. My team needs me. I need to clutch this. Put me back in. Come on. Oh, they're good up. Put me in. Don't let them win. Stay alive, boys. No. Got one. Give me a lizard. Nice, huge. Freddy clutches the win, let's go! <laughs> yes! Clutch the win, let's go! That was crazy. That was crazy. Oh my goodness, 17 kills, nice. Bro, the one point win, let's go. Look at that. Whew. 17 and four, damn. Damn, damn, damn. The Sith are all powerful. You are no match for me.